What up, FBF Squad? It's me, Jacquez, aka Fat Belly Fella, and I'm back. What's up, you guys? Okay, today, you guys, we are trying some Indian cuisine. Am I saying that right? Indian cuisine. Yeah, I think that's right. So we're not going to waste any more time, you guys. We're going to say our prayers and then we're going to get into this food. Amen. Okay, so yeah, you guys, we are trying some Indian cuisine, Indian food for those in the back. <laughs> Today we are having some lamb, some, wait a minute, I want to get this right. I want to make sure that I get this right. So we're going to look it up. Of course, the lamb chops. We have lamb chops. I thought they would be a little bit bigger than that, but they're not. So we're just going to go off of the taste, you guys. And lamb biryani rice up front. And then we have mother paneer here over on the side. Basically what that is, um, it's like fresh green peas and homemade cheese cooked with spices and curry sauce. So yeah. And then we have some garlic naan bread on the side, which I heard so many good things about. Mango lassi. So what this is, is like a yogurt with mango pulp on the inside of it. So yeah, we got that. No Junior and Susie today, you guys. We are on our water kick 2020. We are on our water kick, you guys. That is very detrimental. <laughs> I can't stress that enough. Very detrimental, you guys. So we are on our water kick today. And yeah, so we're going to get into this food. How are you guys doing today? Listen. I had to go far and wide for this. Far and wide for this here food. So I hope that you guys enjoy it with me. This is my first time tasting it and I might have to sit this in the back because I need to get to this rice and I don't have to be reaching around and all that stuff. So yeah. I had to go far for this. I was like, uh, that was one time I really wanted to call Uber Eats. Lucky for them, they didn't deliver. Am I? Can y'all see me? Mmm. Okay. That's different. That's a nice taste to it, though. It's very... Let me see. Mmm. 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 Y'all have a whole container of this rice. I didn't want to. I didn't want to stock it up too bad because I didn't know whether I would like it or not. But baby, she's giving pour me up, pour me up. That's really good. <clears throat> oh. They cook the rice in some lamb juices. And also they have pieces of, of lamb inside of here. And of course you want to move. have their own, you know, it's like a, mm -hmm. they have their own taste, the way they, they, they put flavor, you know, seasonings and spices and things into their food, and where they incorporate that, yeah, and let's try some of this, this nan bread that I've been hearing so much about, I don't know exactly how I'm supposed to eat it, what I'm supposed to eat it with, Actually, let's try it in our pea vegetable. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, this is different. This is different, y'all. Any of y'all ever had some um 
Indian food before? I rolled my sleeves. I got to roll up my sleeves on this one. <clears throat> Them hiccups will not let me be great. I swear. Let me get this one up front. Now, like I said, these are really tiny lamb chops, you guys, but with the way everything else tastes, I'm pretty sure that they on point. Trying to get in this camera good, y'all. I'm trying to, but. Mm -hmm. Baby, what y'all be putting in y'all's prices over there? Listen. Don't get no black people nothing like this because we had set up like that was our first and our last meal. This is amazing. This is really good, you guys. This is really good. It was worth the drive because y'all know I was chin and moaning, chin and complaining the whole ride. Even though I was in the car by myself. <laughs> Just don't look too intriguing, but this is really good. It has a sweet but flavorful not sweet but flavorful, but a sweet, savory, flavorful taste to it. That's good. Let me get back to this rice. Mm -hmm. And to be honest with you, I don't even know if I ever had lamb chops before. I don't know. Don't quote me. Usually I can remember something, especially if it's good to me. But I don't recall ever having lamb chop before. You know, my household is very much so chicken, ground beef. Ground turkey or turkey. We didn't step too, you know, far out of our comfort zone. But baby, back. This is good. I feel like my lighting is off. It's all good. It's all good. I don't know, but this um this garlic naan bread is lit lit. It's lit lit.
Y'all, what in the world is going on in the mukbang community? In the mukbang community, we got drama. Well, let me not be surprised because, you know, drama will follow you any way you allow it. But this whole uh, Stephanie Sue and Nikocado Avocado situation, I am shook. <laughs> I'm shook because I don't know what it is. Let me just say this. I don't like to be in other people's business and all that stuff. But when stuff is entertaining, <laughs> it's entertaining. I'm entertaining that whole situation because, I mean, I don't want to say too much because you never know. You never know. But Miss Stephanie Sue, she had packed homegirl up. <laughs> she packed her up. I'm sorry. Not sorry. She packed Miss Nicocado Avocado up. I know everybody else who chiming in saying... I don't want to take sides because I like so-and-so and I like so-and-so. Listen, I like both of them, to be honest with you. But when you've been packed, girl, you've been packed. Period. And that's what Stephanie did. Girl, you can't treat everybody like that. One day, you will meet your match. You will meet your match. <clears throat> and I think that's what he did. <laughs> I think that's what he did. And it's so sad that it had to be from somebody so like small and petite and just like real cutesy and sweet and all that stuff. At least that's what I got from her. Just from, you know, and I've been watching Stephanie Sue for uh, quite some time. And she's just always, she's just always been a vibe to me. To me, you know, I take Nick in increments. I, I do, I have to do him in dosages. It'd be a lot for my energy. <laughs> It'd be a lot going on, but I do watch Nick from time to time. I think that in life, there are choices. And what we decide to do with those choices as adults is completely up to us. So can nobody else be held accountable? I know they they try to drag other um other content creators into it into the mix and all that stuff, but the problem is really between those two. And you know, if they've ever had like an actual friendship, I would suggest them to stop being so public about what's going on, because even though it's too late, it's way too late. I think they've said enough to do a lot of damage. <clears throat> so, at this point, it's like... At this point, it's very much so like, girl, you go your way, he go his way, and just let... <gasps> oh! Oh yeah. They need to just go ahead and let bygones be bygones, move on from the situation, because I don't see I don't see them coming back from this. I don't see them coming back from this. A lot of trust has been broken, and you know without trust you have nothing. Without trust you have nothing. And I mean, just from the information that I've gathered from the situation, Nick need to go sit down somewhere. Period. He need to go sit down for real. 
because it ain't looking good. <clears throat> now, now they want to cancel. They want to cancel Nick. They want to cancel that man. And it would be so sad to see that happen after all this work that he's put in. He's a good content creator. He makes really good content to me, you know. But to have all that washed out because of the foolishness, mm -mm. it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. Look at this. Look at that joint. Look at that. That's bad. Look at this. Look at that. This right here is so simple. It's so simple, but it has so much flavor to it. I fall for anything. They get good flavor to it. Yes, because flavor is, where is that? Flavor, flavor. <laughs> y'all, y'all can tell I've been I've been binge watching Lady T Sensation. Yes, I have. I found myself watching YouTube way more than regular television now. My phone be doing the most when I'm recording. And all I want to do is sit here and record and, and eat and, and share this food with y'all. And people just want to keep bothering me. And it, it's the ones that know that I'm recording that want to keep doing stuff. I want to keep doing stuff. <clears throat> mm -hmm. mm. I want to try some more of this. This is the least. This is the least thing that I like. It's good, but it's not something that I will go back to. Um, I will go and think about getting again. Let's try this mango lassi. Let's see what this mango lassi give. Is it gonna mess with my stomach or no? I hope it don't. I don't got time for that. That's pretty good. Actually, that's amazing. Okay, you guys, so we're going to get to our shout-outs. I promised you guys that I would do shout-outs and all that good stuff. And there were three that I did not get to last video. So, I'm going to give a shout-out to Miss Bootsy. <laughs> you don't know how much that name made me giggle. I, listen, it's just some, it's some, that's, yeah, 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 yeah. Then we also have Keisha Raggins. Hi, Keisha. Keisha Boo, what's up, baby? Then we also have T Winslow. Thank you guys so much for um, being in the comments and all that stuff and actually taking the time to watch the videos because I know that you had to make it towards the end of the video in order to know that I said I was going to give shout outs if you wanted a shout out. If you guys are not following me on my social media, you can follow me on my Instagram at underscore fatbellyfella underscore. Okay? Okay. But in the meantime, y'all know what's about to happen. Y'all know what's about to go down. Don't forget to subscribe, like, 
comment, hit that notification bell to be notified each and every single time your boy upload another video. And don't forget to share, share, share because sharing is caring. And I will see you guys in the next video. I love us for real. Peace.